If you ever wanted to play Cyberpunk 2077 like Vision from Marvel, where you could fly everywhere and go through any wall or floor, this is the mod that you've probably been looking for. For that and much more, come with me. The name of this mod is Free Fly by Keanu Freeze, and just like all the mods I will be showcasing on this video, this one also needs Cyber Engine tweaks installed uh, in order to work because it, it, it is sort of a script for that mod. By the way, Cyber Engine tweaks is no longer available at Nexus mod, and you can only find it on the GitHub page for the developer. You can find all the links of all that matters in this video description, so, so check that out. All right, upon opening the uh, Free fly mod you'll be prompted to enter your hotkeys for for your flight control like the keys that you want to go that you want to use to go up down left right and so on so you can set up as you want i personally use my number pad uh not sure if that was the best setup but that's what i used so with this mod you all you have to do is press the hotkey that will enable the flight and you use the keys you assign to do your flight control you can speed up the your velocity you can slow it down and whenever you have flying mode enabled you can clip through walls and floors that's pretty handy if you want to explore the unfinished realms of night city and trust me there are plenty of unfinished plays in this game. Uh, this mod is really, really interesting to to let the players like uh, have an idea of how much work they put on this game, and at the same time, how much how much more is still missing to be complete. A good example of that is all of those rooftops, uh, which some of them even have uh surface that you can collide so you can actually walk on those on those rooftops and they have some assets but it almost feel like they didn't have enough time to finish those places for i don't know quests or for you to visit and they just shut it down where in a way that you could no longer access it when you're flying the whole world is frozen in place you can start to have an idea of how the engine works because the vehicles will keep spawning even though they're not moving so if you move along the road the the cars will spawn and they spawn so it is kind of i don't know awkward the way the asset rendering system works just i don't know it's they really really need to improve the system because it creates so much problem when in game like it, like it happened to me all the time i'm going like in one direction and then when i turn back the car that was right behind me just despawned and then i turn back again and another car spawned in front of me so it's so crazy that uh the game cannot keep track of the assets in real time uh here's another really interesting example of uh, unfinished assets you can go to this to this building here there is a helipad uh, or AV pad, you have some doors, and you even have some vending machines. You have this this place that you can open the door, but the door is like not on the high right height, so you have to kind of like crawl through the building. And I don't know, there there's so there's such a mix of finished stuff and unfinished stuff. It is crazy. There's even this this catwalk over there that you can like walk but then the catwalk just ends in a wall it almost feel like this 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 place should be for a mission or for something that just got cut because lack of time the same thing applies to the train station the i don't know everything pretty much everything it, it gives an impression of half finished uh content if you and I'm, I'm not sure if i'm being clear here but i think you got the feeling that the player cannot even access this place here where i am there but there are vending machines here so what what the hell uh anyway let's move on to the next mod Pyrus menu by maximilian m and control alt das is one of my favorite scripts for cyber engine tweaks by far one of the many cool things this mod let you do is it, it allows you to change the appearance of any object that you look uh any streamable object that you look like cars npcs and yeah cars and npcs basically so you can change how the vehicles of uh, the random vehicles on the street look so you can swap between all the variants and you can also do that to your own rights so in that way you can you can customize your vehicles i know there's not vehicle customization in this game like i have i still don't understand why 
you cannot change the variant of your vehicles. Uh, but anyway, the mods can the mods allow you to do that, and you can even set the appearance for destroyed vehicles, so you can effectively ride a wheelless motorcycle burned to the ground, and <laughs> it's, it's super goofy. But for real, I, I really wish you could you could customize your vehicles with vanilla game. I mean, all the systems are in place, and a sim if a simple mod can do that, why can't the base game, for real? Another cool thing that this mod lets you to do is by swapping around the how the, 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 the NPCs look, you can start to understand the design process. So here you have like corporate, rat, uh, one, two, three, four, whatever, and you have sex worker, one, two, three, four, five. It is kind of interesting to see how the developers arrange all the NPCs model and still I think it's a missed opportunity to not have the NPCs being procedurally generated uh, instead of having those fixed models because I don't know being realistic there's probably like 200 or so NPCs and although that sounds a lot it is not especially if you're playing on PC where you have a really really high NPC density like I have here on I think this was city center or it or maybe it was Japan town and a trip it is very easy to see the duplicates when you have that many NPCs together so I really wish they went like full procedural on this but maybe maybe some mod could could help to alleviate that problem and mix and match clothing in a random way another really really cool thing that this mod can do is it can spawn any npc that you want here just to settle scores i choose to spawn johnny silverhand just next to his nemesis adam smasher maybe they will fight to death maybe they will make amends i don't know uh, but it is cool because you can have them as their as their companions and they will go wherever you go and even when you go inside a vehicle, they will also follow you inside the vehicle. Although they will all go through the same door and that will really create some awkward uh, moments, especially like with Adam Smasher, which probably doesn't have a sitting animation because I don't think he would have, you will ever see him seated in any part of the game. So I don't think he has a sitting animation. So he'll just go to the default typos and glitch outside of the car. But the other NPCs will have uh, normal sitting animations and you can take them for a spin on your ride. Another cool thing that you can do is, is that you can cycle the appearance of the spawned NPCs that you just made. So here I'm cycling between damaged Adam Smasher or young Adam Smasher and so on. So uh, I think that's a nice touch. It's a nice combination the, of the stuff that you can do, especially if you want to go super kinky as you can spawn some uh, love interest in very revealing outfits or even no outfits at all and take them for a spin. Right, Meredith? It's time to go home, baby. No more no tell motel. Now, what if you don't want to spawn companions anymore and you want to spawn some uh, target dummies, maybe? So you can uh, try your brand new net running skills or your brand new Malorian pistol. So spawning enemy around you by Cybercom is the mod that you've been looking for. With this mod, you can spawn Pretty much any NPCs from Cyber Psychos to Arazaka Tugs to Tiger Claws, Moxes, or even a whole fleet of Adam Smashers. Be advised, the Adam Smasher appears to be much stronger than the, the normal version of it. As far as I remember, I didn't remember having that much trouble killing him on the normal game. But either way, you can spawn, uh, I don't know, 20 Adam Smashers. So you can try your luck uh, at killing all of them. But I highly advise you not to try that at home. Uh, either way, it's a, it's a really interesting mod. Just be careful with the amount of NPCs you're spawning because you're gonna get murdered by them. Uh, and I personally had some glitches where at some point they would not spawn anymore. Even though I kept clicking to despawn them, uh, I just had to reload the save file to start spawning them again. Uh, so that's a bug that I encountered. You could encounter that as well. I don't know. A uh, cool thing that I noticed is, is that by killing those enemies, they will give you uh, credits. They will give you edits. Uh, and they also drop loot. So you can spawn 
a handful of cyber cycles kill them for their loot and for the cash. Uh, but to be fair at this point, if you're already using Cyber Engine Tweaks, you can just pound the loot in your whole, in your inventory if you want. Uh, but I don't know, it, it is a nice thing to have if you want to try yourself, uh, if you're bored with the game, if you just want to have a very hard fighting experience. And what is the best way to kill enemies other than using the Militech Heavy Machine Gun to murder all of your foes? So with this mod called Militech Heavy Machine Gun by Darkside 2027 and Chuck, you can do exactly that. By pressing the assign hotkey, you spawn that heavy machine gun on your hand immediately out of thin air, just like magic. I don't know, maybe it's nanites. Uh, I don't know, leave it in the comments if you know the science behind spawning weapons out of thin air. I think it's just magic. Anyway, with this mod, you can have as many of them as you want. I just wish this mod would also change the parameters of, this, uh, of the heavy machine gun, because honestly, it is so freaking underwhelming. This weapon is one of the worst weapons of the whole game. Like, literally, it's a simple pistol can do more damage than a heavy machine gun. I don't know, maybe I lack the skills for using it correctly, or maybe I'm doing something wrong here, but I never, never wanted to use this weapon in a normal game, let alone having a mod for that. But I don't know, maybe, maybe if you could tweak with the weapon parameters, it will be more re rewarding because the weapon feels so powerful the rounds explode and detonate on impact, but the damage is just not there. You have to use like, I don't know, 100 bullets to kill a high tier enemy. And that's just wrong. Come on, it's a heavy freaking machine freaking gun. Either way, let's move on. If you ever wanted to sell the cars that you steal from the poor citizens that upon being threatened, all they can do is hide and like, Go in fetus position in the middle of the road. This is the mod for you. Sell stolen car made by Talon Mook lets you do exactly that. All I have to do is set up the key binds on Cyber Engine Tweaks. I set them for 1, 2, 3 on my numpad. 1 for yes, 2 for no, and 3 for talk. And just get inside any car anywhere in Night City and just drive to Dakota, the, the fixer of the Badlands. You can find her on, the, on this garage, on this location here on the map. Uh, if you haven't known that, all the shaking hands icons in the map are fixer locations, you can visit all of them. By the way, pay a visit to Regina, her place is really dope. Either way, moving on, if you drive the stolen car to the garage, you just enter the garage. Normally those doors will be closed, but this mod opened them up and you'll be asked if you want to sell the car for 5,000 eddies. Just hit accept, leave the vehicle, leave the garage and the money will be transferred to your account. I'm not gonna lie, this was really, really funny and interesting to do at the first two cars that I sold, but it got boring very, very quick because it's first, the spawning system for vehicles in Cyberpunk is super lame. Secondly, all the vehicles have the same price, so there's no incentive to find like more high end tier cars. And I don't know, it is a nice mini game uh, and probably vanilla game should have it but yeah it is what it is a nice touch of this mod is that when you leave line of sight of the garage and you come back the car will be moved to the next of it to the to the left side of it it will be parked out just outside the garage so that's a nice touch really well done mod creator and by now you may be wondering okay cyber engine tweaks can do a lot of cool stuff so can it create a whole new quest using this tool, using this mod? Hmm, maybe. So quest mod by Donk7413 is an attempt to do exactly that. It will procedurally generate, it will generate missions that include uh, from killing to, it will add to the game contracts that range from killing, squirting and exploring. However, I tried a version of this mod that was from February the 5th and it was really, really bad. And I'm gonna, I don't want to sound like a jerk and criticize the mod creator, but I couldn't finish a single quest with this mod because the spawn system was so glitched that I could either not find the enemies that were supposed to kill or they wouldn't spawn inside buildings 
or they would spawn on the air. Uh, I don't know, it was just a nightmare to complete this. Also, you just have the coordinates on the map, so you kind of have to teleport and you will teleport to the wrong location quite often. So I just wish it would it could create markers on the map where you could drive to the location of the target that you have to kill, squirt or explore. Uh, either way, it is a work in progress, I know, but it is far, far, far from being anything that you can actually have fun doing it. Either way, keep, keep tuned for more mods. I will be covering the those mods updates whenever they come, uh, whenever they change something significantly, I will be back covering those. If you want to see a tutorial on how to install any Cyberpunk 2077 mods, make sure to check the link on the video description. I made a tutorial explaining exactly how you can do that. For weekly Cyberpunk 2077 mod content, make sure to be subscribed to the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.